Now to an ongoing issue that we've heard from many of you about becoming permanently locked out of your Facebook accounts after hackers break in and then post harmful content. Denver 7's Rob Harris talked to a man who says this could cost him tens of thousands of dollars in missed revenue, and he's taking his complaint to the Colorado Attorney General. He doesn't overstate things to say that weather is Roger Hill's life. I live for weather. I love weather. It's his personal passion, and he's made several businesses out of it. Well, these are all the vans that we use for our storm chasing tour business. They've been through a lot of tornadoes, a lot of hail and high winds. This time of year is very important for his business, with his storm photography selling for holiday gifts and his guided storm tours getting booked for the year ahead. And that's why it's a very bad time to lose access to the more than 50,000 people who follow him on Facebook. I woke up and checked my email and I had a whole string of notifications told me that my account had been suspended. And I'm like, well, this is not right. There's, I didn't do anything. I did nothing to, the, to, to deserve this. And so I filed the appeal. Well, an hour later, I get an email back from them that says, unfortunately, you are not eligible to use Facebook. Your account has been suspended and you are banned for life. I've heard the same story from dozens and dozens of people at this point. After hackers get their Facebook accounts shut down, they go through the appeals process and then hit only brick walls. To be honest, my reception has been basically the same anytime I've tried to get any answers from Facebook, but I'm going to try one more time. Hill has also filed a formal complaint with the Colorado Attorney General, accusing parent company Meta of unfair business practices. He says he spent thousands of dollars on ads for his business on Facebook, and he stands to lose tens of thousands in lost sales if he can't get back his connection to his customers. This is absolutely ridiculous and, and totally uncalled for. So there is no due process. There's no recourse that you can take. It makes you almost feel like that they are judge, jury, and executioner all in one. For Denver 7, that's wrong. I'm Rob Harris. And hopefully he can get some answers. And as of now, our messages to Facebook's parent company, Meta, have gone unanswered. But here are some ways to keep your account as safe as possible from hackers. Make sure you have two-factor verification turned on in your account. Make a strong password without anything personally identifiable, like your name, number, or birthday. And remove your personal profile from search engine results. You can do all of these things right from your account settings on Facebook.